Chaparral 19 SSI OB coming in just under $55,000 here at the boat show. It's got a Yamaha F-115 on the back of it. We've got our ladder here in the back. Back is all, again, all cushions so you can kind of lay out like a bed. Flips up, has like a walkway coming in, but you can have cushions all over everything if you were just using it at the sandbar or on the beach, wherever you're going. Bucket seats for the passenger, bucket seat for the captain, and then toggle switches here on the dash. You got Yamaha command link gauges, very nice. And then um, key switch right there, tilt, steering helm, very nice. Shorter bow, but it's a 19 foot boat, so good for three, four people to sit up here and hang out. Good for the kids, cushions all the way around, handles to hold on to while you're underway. So here we've got the 19cc. This one's got the Pro XS Mercury 150XL. Kind of come in at $53,000, but again, it's going to be a lot more boat. You're going to get a Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor on this one also a lot more storage up in the front so you got your anchor light up there in the front lots of storage right here inside this compartment here as a live well so definitely kind of nice but the console is an actual console as fiberglass it is not propylene or plastic or whatever the other ones were and you've also got a bimini top for the shade it's got an actual leaning post in there on top of the cooler seat so that's really really nice got a garmin gps um some analog gauges still on a jail or not a jail but a radio so that's nice again also going to have a power pole and a second live well here in the back for again this fifty three thousand dollars so you get the 150 not a bad price got a permanent fuel tank in there and then i'm pretty sure that these are probably going to lift up and be seats so now you got seats right here that's a big benefit for you know seating and then also being able to close them up and have deck space for fishing now we're looking at the Rubalo r180 looks like we got 51,155 here at the show got a yamaha f-115 on the back of it ladder in the back back again has these seats that'll flip up so you can sit there but they also fold down so you can kind of walk across the back and fish off the back if you want cooler underneath the leaning post leaning post got four rod holders got a bimini top across the boat and then we've also got push button switches for all the controls in the boat yamaha gauges it's all clear ready for whatever gps you would like in it the bow is just round um, no backrest just a you know, shorter bow because it's a shorter boat, and then also the seat in the front of the center console. Here we've got a Carolina skiff. This is a 24, um, 45 grand, 24 footer. It's got a max of a 150 on it. Pretty sure that's what's on there right now. Yep, you know, it's got a 150 on the boat. Nice clean boat, Carolina skiff, normal deal, completely open and uh, pretty customizable whatever you want to put in here. Got the rod holders on the side, that's pretty nice. For your rod storage, not really any rod holders around the boat other than that. But normal Carolina skiff, completely open, not a whole lot to them. Dash looks nice. Do you like that? Nice clean. Got the like chip type paint stuff in them here we've got a dx2000 deck boat coming in at forty two thousand two hundred thirty four dollars you'll notice there's two big platform like that come off the back of the transom so it gives you nice um things to step on and to get in and out of the water ladder underneath the one looks like we've got a mercury 150 four stroke on the back and then also a lounger here in the back with a seat it looks like it'll flip forward so that will give you you know, turns it into like a lounger, basically. Bimini top here on the top, so you got shade over the whole boat. And then the rest of it, look at, there is a cushion here that kind of separates. So you've got like a, like a leaning thing right there. So that turns this into kind of like a lounger too, with two cup holders. I bet those will move around as well. The captain seat right here, controls, toggle switches, one sim rad, got a Rockford Fosgate stereo, and the oh looks like you got a porta potty in here so you got that for toiletry got a nice sink with two cup holders and then the bow is just going to be an open bow seats all the way around loungers kind of got one cup holder here to the side and 
power there so you can charge your phone. And then also going to probably be a ladder right there if, yeah, definitely it's a ladder. Very similar, just a little bit smaller. It's going to be like a 20, probably like a 19, 18, something like that. But it actually has wakeboard there, or surfboard, so pretty interesting. I don't see the where you put the pole or where the line comes from. There's the, there's the hook. There's the hook. Three fifteen. This one's starting out at forty-five thousand. So twenty-one, same boat. This one's got a one fifty on the back of it, which is pretty sweet. Same thing, like a live well or something back here. Access. Um, seats pop, flip up, console's pretty plain, pop in there, Clarion stereo, analog gauges, tilt helm, ooh, I like that, look at the back of this thing, it's got a sunshade on the chair, that's pretty nice, I mean, if you're sitting there, I mean, if you're fishing, obviously that might get in the way, but I'm sure you can fish around that, get up on the front and cast, and then be able to sit down and kind of be in the shade a little bit, depending on what you're trying to work. Ooh, look at the console on this one. So the console opens up in the front. So that's interesting. You see that? Here's your hatch right there. So that thing hinges right here. So you see those hinges? So that thing is going to flip up, which is interesting. Hmm. Oh, that's because that's the head. So that'll flip up and that is your head in there for your toilet. That's pretty sweet. Nice feature there. And this one is going to run you... Ooh, 41,900. That's not too bad. 175 is the max. This one's got the 150 on it. 